Good morning and welcome to day 106 on the AT. My name is Mosey and this is Rissa Rome's uh, rolling out of camp right at seven. Um, once again, would have liked to have gotten on trail earlier, but uh, it was late when I got in and I had trouble falling asleep last night, which is strange for me, at least on trail. Usually I pass out. You'd really think so after how long of a day I had, but yeah, I just couldn't couldn't quite fall asleep. So we're on trail. We got 14 miles till I get picked up by my friends. So that's exciting. We're making it to Carlisle and I will have internet tonight to try and get my parking reservation for Baxter. So Here's hoping I get it, or else my plants fall apart. <laughs> so I camped near a section of trail that has recently been rerouted, I believe. Um, so you could see where the old trail was. Uh, a couple women <laughs> set up their tents right on it. But it's really confusing because there are blazes everywhere pointing in all different directions. I mean, it's clear I can tell what the trail is but it is just interesting like looking around and seeing blazes everywhere. So today has a pretty low amount of elevation gain, but I could tell based on the math that one climb looked a little rough. I just read the comments and everyone said, if you're short like me, this is gonna be tough. And I'm like, oh, okay, great, 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 great. <laughs> Bit of a rock scramble, not a problem. Just, uh, it's hard for us short people. It's hard. So just, Finished up the climb up Rocky Ridge, uh, which everyone was uh, just a moment. All right, so just finished the climb up Rocky Ridge, and uh, this was the one all the comments were saying that it was really hard for short people, and it was a rock scramble. Was it rocky? Yes. Was it a scramble? No. I did not use my hands the whole time. So, um, yeah, it wasn't that bad. I can't speak for them. Whoever said that, that it was difficult. Uh, maybe they are shorter than I am. Maybe they were going so low, which would probably be a little bit more difficult. But, yeah, coming from one short person, not that bad. Okay, I will say, I did just use my hands one second ago, but more so to stabilize myself than like pull myself up. So there's that. Ran into a couple people going Silbo, one of whom was Stretch, who I met at Cross Trails. Um, sorry, squirrel distracted me. <laughs> um, yeah, so I stopped and talked to them for a little bit, and then um, now i got to get moving because I realized there is a Chick-fil-A in Carlisle, and your girl hasn't had Chick-fil-A in three and a half months, and so i got to book it because <laughs> i got Chick-fil-A on the mind now. <laughs> All right, now maybe I see what they were talking about. Yeah, I was sorely mistaken. I thought they were saying the rock scramble was on the way up. The rock scramble is on the top. Still not bad, but uh, yes, difficult for short people. There was one point I did take off my pack because um, I didn't think I could hoist myself up with 30 pounds trying to pull me backwards. <laughs> Let me tell you, 
yellow jackets are everywhere on this stretch of trail today. I'm trying so hard not to make them mad. So, you know, I grew up around the time YouTube was getting big and there were all these weird internet people doing weird stuff. I watched a guy named Julian Smith and one of my favorite videos he made was called Akbar. He went to a cornfield that day and he made friends with an ear of corn <laughs> and that, he named that ear of corn Akbar. And uh, I'm singing that song in my head, but I'm not gonna put you through it. This little baby deer was bounding down the trail towards me. Oh my goodness. Oh, you're so cute. I also find it interesting that like, someone owns this cornfield and they're just like, sure, I'll let a thousand weird through hikers walk through my cornfield. Walking through Boiling Springs. This is a cute little town. Wow. Yeah, this is adorable. I would totally hang out here. It didn't have places to be. So that day I made it into Carlisle. I uh, reunited with my high school German teacher and her husband, um, stayed with them at their house. She took me to get Chick-fil-A, which was incredible. And I hung out with um, her and her kitties, uh, Rodan and Wash. Um, so that was really exciting. Um, and then I stayed up until midnight and I got my parking reservation. So um, I am in the clear to hike Katahdin on my 30th birthday, uh, weather permitting. So um, that was all arranged. Of course, the adrenaline from doing that and staying up that late, I ended up not falling asleep until 1.30 that night. And with the miles I'd been pushing, my body was pretty worn out. So I decided to take a zero again um, to sleep in and spend some time with her um, and do my resupply and get all the last minute things. Now that I know that I was flipping, I could finally buy my plane ticket and um, arrange things with the hostel in Millinocket because um, I didn't know if I would get to Summit Katahdin like I hoped or if I would have to go to Monson and hike north um, and then flip back to Monson. Uh, and so I hadn't made any travel arrangements or um, lodging arrangements um, because of that. So um, I had a lot more logistics to do, but these were finalizing logistics instead of um, learning and research and hoping things worked out. So um, yeah, that was my zero day in Carlisle. It was just hanging out with her, going out to eat and getting everything arranged. 